A Minnesota mother is questioning the visitor policy at one Metro hospital after a terrifying accident nearly took her son's life on the 4th of July. As WCCO's Liz Collin found, as COVID restrictions are loosening, families are wondering why some medical facilities aren't on the same page. We knew it was bad. It was the night of the 4th of July when their 28 year old son was sitting on the tailgate of a friend's truck. Witnesses say a sudden acceleration and braking on a cabin road led to a life threatening head injury for John Butler, who was airlifted from Princeton to North Memorial in Robbinsdale for treatment. His injuries were bleeding of the brain, um, bruising of the brain, shattered cheek broken collarbone and cracked and fractured ribs. Hours later, his family was told to pick two people as visitors for the length of his hospitalization. You're not thinking rational, you're just kind of beside yourself. John's wife and his dad, who lives near the hospital, were designated. Not really thinking that this was forever permanent, I could never see him. His mom, Jane, has spent the 10 days since trying to get in. Hell, you sit and look at your telephone, Wondering if somebody's going to text you and say he's alive, he's dead. WCCO found North Memorial's visitor policy is among the most restrictive as they've been loosened since the pandemic. Whereas this hospital allows two visitors per hospitalization, many others in the metro state the two can be different people day to day. I'm grateful for his care, don't get me wrong. After making continuous calls, Jane was allowed an hour with John on Wednesday. I feel like I can finally sleep when I go home. But with it looking likely he has weeks in the hospital ahead, she doesn't know when or if she'll be allowed back in. I'll fight again, Liz. In Robbinsdale, Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. In a statement, North Memorial told us the safety of its team, customers, and visitors is its top priority. They went on to say through the pandemic, quote, we have regularly reviewed and updated our visitor policies based on guidance from the CDC and the Minnesota Department of Health. We will continue to do so as we closely monitor the spread of the Delta variant. We checked. The CDC does not set a number of visitors for a hospitalized patient.